Yeah, hi everyone, Frankie again. Uh, this video I'm going to walk you through the RSS uh, submit feature that's built into Scrapebox. Uh, it's quite easy, so we'll get stuck into it. Down on the comment poster section at the bottom, you've got an RSS uh, option there. You've just got to enable that one. And over on the right, you get uh, two input boxes that become available. The bottom's RSS services, so we'll go and load that one up. These come with Scrapebox, and it's just a various list of uh, RSS URLs that you can submit feeds to. And also, you're free to edit that. Um, you can delete sites when they go down. You can add new ones as you find them, so you're not sort of locked into a, a set um, list of sites that um, you can't change. So we'll close out of that one. And your other option is your websites and all this is is RSS feed URLs uh, these are two that just come with it in the um, example file so we'll go over onto the net here and I've got uh, Squidoo and I'll just grab a, any old one here and on your Squidoo and most web 2.0 properties you've got um, your RSS feed somewhere where you can grab that so all we're going to do is click that one and this is a valid um, RSS page so if your page looks like this I mean WordPress have, have got um, RSS feeds um, they're normally slash WordPress uh, on the end of the URL but so long as it looks like that so we'll close out of that one go into the websites and we can put our feed in there and apply it actually I might go and grab another one I'll open another URL I'll go let's go Matt Cutts blog we'll submit his feed for him will be nice here we go over on the side here is RSS and that's it there that's his feed so what we do is copy and paste that back to our RSS list here paste it in so I mean you can put as many sites as you want in here as many feeds and um, basically submit them all at once so we'll just go apply so that's done we've got our got our RSS URLs and our um, RSS services you just click submit ping simple as that off it goes um, it'll go to these sites submit the um, the feed to them it sort of pings the engine you can tell what success what's failed um, so this is you know a good um, good quick way to get uh, the the bots and the crawlers on on your website uh, as soon as you submit that and I've noticed a few people wanting to um, submit their a list of blogs that they've commented on to the RSS services and sort of my my advice is no don't because I mean if you go and get you know 500 backlinks in a day and then you sort of submit them all through here via RSS the you know the, the search engines will discover them you know fairly quickly and it, it sort of doesn't look um, all that natural so you know my advice is when you comment you just let the bots find them naturally uh, the RSS is good for things like you know web 2.0 profiles um, you know th things of that nature that you you make um, if you've got WordPress blog and you've got an RSS feed on there you don't really have to use the feature built into Scrapebox because most um, you know blog platforms we uh, WordPress have they've got a, li a list of uh, uh, ping URLs in the dashboard and you can just use that so I mean the RSS feature in Scrapebox is really you know uh, for static sites uh, web 2.0 pro uh, properties um, and that sort of thing to to submit them through but as you can see there it's it's going through at the moment 123 success, two failed. Uh, it's simple as that. Not much to it. So 
this feed here is being submitted and this feed here is being submitted so you can load that up with as many as you want and um, submit away and when it's done it will um, give you a report on you know what's exceeded what failed you can it gives you the option to remove um, you know any any bad URLs from the list uh, with this you can also use uh, proxies I mean if you're doing a lot of sites you know it could be a good idea to use them but if you're just doing one or two like I am here now there's sort of not much point um, for you know a small volume like that but that'll be done in a minute so yeah basically any any um, RSS page that looks like this you know WordPress has got um, you know feed URLs most uh, blog platforms and that sort of thing have got them so this should be nearly done that's done there this one failed um, during submission on both feeds so I've got got the option there to remove it um, or leave it in and I can close that out and that's all done so that's it that's your RSS submit feature and it's as simple as that alright thanks everyone